So how much of Assassin's Creed were you both aware about before you decided to become a part of this film? I knew the title, Assassin's Creed, yeah. but that's it. I didn't know anything about the game. Yeah, I had seen, you know, posters and trailers for, for the game, but I, I didn't know anything about it. I thought, well, you know, it looked quite sort of mysterious, but um, I, you know, ha met up with the guys from Ubisoft and they started to explain the universe to me. That was really my introduction to it. And immediately I was hooked. I was just intrigued by this whole sort of concept of DNA memory or genetic memory that we sort of carry information, knowledge, experience of our ancestors in our DNA and that's what we call instinct or sort of like a sixth sense you know uh, and then the concept of Templars assassins and this sort of two philosophies that were sort of battling for the future of humanity I thought this is great this is sort of something that's going to translate very well uh, to a cinematic experience the idea that you have these sort of timeline regressions so you have present time and then you have the regression into sort of whatever uh, time in history you, you want to choose and we thought the Spanish Inquisition would be an interesting one which is original from the games we developed uh, original characters also from the game so yeah it's um, We've got a little bit of both going on, something that we brought and then a lot of things that we brought from the game. The Assassin's Creed fan base, particularly online, you know, there's hundreds of millions of them. They're very, very vocal as well and very passionate. Have you had any interactions with them, any feedback, any suggestions? Uh, yeah, there's always, you know, a few sort of, you know, there's obviously been, you know, trailers going out and, you know, you could read sort of fans have comments. They've all always got suggestions, as you said, you know, <laughs> uh, gamers as well as sort of people that are into the sort of the comic book world. They're very sort of passionate and they're very vocal, which is great. Uh, you get you get very good sort of feedback, so it's starting to drip through, but nothing really until you know it goes out there and they and they see it. You have a friend. Yeah, that... yeah. The, my preparation for the movie was uh, sitting on a chair and having um, um, one of my best friends. She's uh, one of the biggest fans, so she taught me everything she thought I would need for um, entering this world. And um, so she told me a lot about uh, the historical aspect of the game and that uh, there was this uh, um, group of people, I mean, massive group of people who would uh, um, travel to those places for real uh, to, um, to, to see how accurate it was. And uh, she actually planned uh, some of her tra uh, trip um, based on, on the game, she told me everything about uh, the characters. Um, and well, I knew from which, because I had read the script already before she, she started to teach me about the game and um, holding the information from her because uh, she was, uh, she was, she thought that I would give her information, but I knew that she was online right away with all those uh, group of fans that were like waiting oh, for information. She's yeah, trying yeah, yeah. to pry They're, it out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's super well organized, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't say anything. But it was, it was really amazing to discover the game through the eyes of a passionate, uh, passionate, uh, crazy passionate person. And um, so I knew about Abstergo, I knew about the Animus. Uh, um, I, she showed me like uh, um, images uh, of the game, not live because uh, uh, I never actually saw the, the, the real game, but um, that was really interesting. Has working on the film inspired you to pick up a controller at all, to delve into that world? Uh, to be honest with you, it, uh, it takes so much time to sort of really become adept at these because the games are so f sophisticated now and the worlds are so layered, you know, in terms of secret doors and, and uh, secret doors, I'm really showing my ignorance, it's like, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it requires a lot of time and I just, I just don't feel like if I started, I would get into it and it would take up a lot of my time and I feel like I have little enough time to do the things that are the hobbies that I've got going already. So That's I'm going to say no. It can take over. That's <laughs> fair. How about yourself? Uh, well, I'm very easily addicted and I think it wouldn't take that much time for me to get addicted <laughs> to, uh, to the game. Uh, well, to be good. Yeah, of course. I Maybe in retirement, I... I'll start playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, um, 
I was addicted to some uh, video games, uh, but that was before being a mum. And uh, and and then with you know being a working mum, you really don't um, have time to play. And um, and I I, I want to stay away from being obsessed. Um, and by, what games uh, were you playing? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Ah, uh, very simple <laughs> games. <laughs> Tetris. Yes, it. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> we should play that game. Um, I was pretty good at Angry Birds. Oh, nice I got hooked too. on that actually. Yeah, I got yeah, really well, hooked on that. You know, and uh, but I I simply love Pac-Man, for example, like uh, all the monsters, you know, uh, mm-hmm. um, space invaders. Space invaders. And uh, I like, yeah, I like very, like, simple, simple games. Uh, I did get drawn into this when I was in the trailer and we were shooting. I spent a lot of time. Which one? The the Assassin's Creed. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I did get sort of drawn into the game. But again, also frustrated that I kept, like, climbing up, turning Mm. around, climbing up. I was like, come on, get out of the corner. (laughs) Well, thank you very much for your time. And uh, hopefully you can both have a bit of a break soon and and indulge in some gaming again. Hopefully you don't get hooked. (laughs) Thanks very much. 